Awesome Lewis was just a regular kid with a kick-ass name who enjoyed regular kick-ass things like running, drawing, and classical Greek theater. Until the birth of his baby sister triggered a series of fantastical dreams wherein Spider-Man gave him the instructions to build a cosmic Lego thingamajig which would open the portal to the 17th dimension. Wherein dwelt the ancient and very old ones who told him his baby sister was a reincarnation of Jade Aronis, the ancient alien warrior king, and he'd been chosen as a sworn and eternal protector from the evil forces of Fardaroni. And thus he was bequeathed with a celestial power stone which when activated transformed him into the mightiest hero the universe had ever seen. Slammer Hammer. Slammer Hammer. He's a hero with a cape and a mask. Slammer Hammer. He's fighting bad guys and he's kicking their ass. Slammer Hammer. And the bad guys mostly played by the dead. Slammer Hammer. No! Slammer Hammer. Rock. With the stone of Jada Ronis, the ancient alien warrior king. In the not-too-distant future, it is the month of Chewbacca, and the Jimmy Somerville Amateur Dramatic Society has begun its traditional ten-night run of the classic Greek tragedy, Antigone. It's meany. I'm going to bury him. No! Antigone, you are mad! What could I possibly do? Will you come? What? And help you bury him? You just said the new law forbids it! He's my brother, and he's your brother too. But what about the danger? What will Creon do? Sometime later. Proud men in old age learn to be wise. Oh, bestie! Well, Gary Pop and Wild Lewis, that was the most touching rendition of Antigone I think I've ever seen you do. Well, you know, the first night was the best in terms of like overall production quality, you know, and last night was definitely the best in terms of landing the jokes. <laughs> but tonight, the, the, the passion in your eyes. <laughs> oh, Bestie, you're far too kind, and the most forgiving of critics. Hey there, Jingling. Is someone being Mr. Far Too Hard himself again? Huh, you read me like an ingredients label, old pal. It is truly said that man finds a special kind of friend in a sock. Best friends! But yes, perhaps I'm being too hard on myself. I feel like my performance is missing something. You mean like genuine breasts? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the audience gets a hell of a show. The best rendition of Antigone a person could want. When people leave the theater, no one is crying. They don't seem as profoundly moved by the death of poor Antigone as they should. And gosh darn it, bestie, I feel like I'm failing in my obligation as an acting person. Hey there, buddy guy friend. I was profoundly moved. <laughs> Oh, bestie, you're the sock that catches it all. But I don't think anyone in the audience was as moved as you. I can't imagine anyone else on Earth was as moved. Hey, 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 you're technically, don't forget, everyone was constantly rotating. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the space fortress of Fartitude belonging to Fartaroni. <laughs> Those fools on Earth! <laughs> Maybe they were to move, Slammer Hammer! <laughs> but here in space, your guild approved arch nemesis and prime antagonist, Fartaroni! Me! I was profoundly moved by your rather rousing depiction of the cursed daughter of Oedipus. <laughs> and poor Creon. <laughs> oh, but how I still hate you for reasons multitudinous, Slammer Hammer! Let's count them! One, you possess the stone of cosmic generonis! Two, what you done to my arm? Still hurts when it's cold. And three, get a ball bag! If only I could possess the cosmic power stone, I'd do some crazy shit. Like proper crazy shit. I'm not talking about just getting a tattoo of that. I mean something like becoming the king of the universe! Or the duke of existence! Or the Lord Mayor of Reality! Or 
Yeah. The self-elected representative of the fourth dimension and surrounding planes of perception. Though I'm a little bit foggy on the bureaucracy necessary or even the possibility of such an administrative position existing in the first place. But how can I possibly possess the stones? Having tried countless times before and plentiful adventures soon to be detailed and available on other platforms, but spoilers! Though it's thwarted by the steely prowess of Slam and Hammer! What to do? I am bereft of new tactics. Forsooth, what say you, this week's sponsored sidekick? Featured brand's example product, Cornflakes. Well, be it the best of times or be it the worst of times, it's always the prime time for advertising. As far to ruin his sponsored sidekick, a unique opportunity in the sleepless landscape of online internet sponsored content real estate. Inserting your product into the heart of the narrative and ensuring your brand and the target audience can directly connect with electric effect that reflects your project or the promoted object's best aspects and expect to collect the correct respect in terms of exposure, economic recompense, and future professional prospects. And as this week's sponsored sidekick, it's my duty to remind you about the machine you have for making monsters to fight Slammer Hammer with and suggest that you use it to make a monster to fight Slammer Hammer with. Oh, of course! The monster making machine for making the monsters for fighting Slammer Hammer with! I use it every week, but it never works! I can use that! Ha <laughs> ha! Inspired idea! This week's sponsored sidekick! I know just the kind of monster to send. One that will act as a downfall of Slammer Hammer. <laughs> Is that? Yes, bestie, it's the stone of Chaderonis, flashing in my belly where I keep it safe. The ancient and very old one is trying to contact me. Do you think Farderoni is up to his tricky, tricky tricks again? I don't know, old friendly pal and buddy guy. But the Avu never call me to congratulate me on my performances. I suspect trouble with a capital rubble. I need to get to the cave. You keep an eye on the telesensors and let me know if anything happens. You got it, buddy. Now go for strength and buttocks. I don't know what that means, but I promise if it comes to it, I'll kick some ass. <laughs> to the cave! <laughs> Cosmic Lego! Think of it! Slammer Hammer to Avu! Come in, Avu! This is the Avu. We accept your call. No, you called me. What? You called me on the stone of Jade Aronis, and now I'm answering that call. So I accept your call. Oh, okay, yeah, we can accept that. What's the dilemma? Dilemma? What? The reason you called, Avu. Oh, oh yes, right. Of course. The dilemma. Oh, it's a good thing you called, Slammer Hammer. We have detected that your arch nemesis, Fartaroni, has once again activated his monster making machine. Crispy Sunburn, that dastardly fiend. Will his burning lust for the stone of Chateronus never cease? But pray, mm. tell me, wise ancient and very old one from the 17th dimension, what kind of what? monster has he manifested this week? Oh, oh, we don't we don't know that. You know, Slammer Hammer, we don't know. And where will the mystery monster land? Oh, you know, we, we, we don't know that, Slammer Hammer. We told you last time. And the time before that? That's right. We don't know what kind of monster. We can, we can just see. We can see out the window that the lights flash and there's some smoke. So we can just, we don't know what kind of monster it is. We, we can just see that he's, he's made a monster out, out the window. Well, perhaps this week he has created a creature who will gently stroke my face whilst reading me the love poetry of Bryce. But I doubt it! Us too, Slammer Hammer. We wish you all the best in your upcoming battle with whatever kind of monster you have to fight, wherever you have to fight it. Thank you, my vague and somewhat useless guardian. You too, Slammer Hammer. Thanks for the call. Safe journey and Godspeed. You suck! Oh.
Uh, oh, my trusty wrist communicator. Flavor Hammer, sensors are picking up a large energy signal heading towards Sector 17. Sector 17? But that's a garden of wonder. No cursed space monster should disturb the biodynamic calm. This sector's most luscious garden. Thank you, trusty pal. Slimer Hammer out. Meanwhile, in Sector 17's Garden of Wonder. <laughs> I am the Melodra Monster, an evil creation, a perfect performer! And I endorse this product. Here in the heart of the narrative, your product can shine like no- I am the fist of my master's dark intent. Act 1. Create drama to attract Slimer Hammer. Act 2. Deceive him with superior acting skills. Act 3. Murder him and tear the stone of Jada Rollers from his rotting flesh! Act 4. Deliver it into the glory of my master Fartaroni! Ha ha ha! And 5% of the merchandise. And an articulated figurine in mine own image. And now my reign of bedlam begins. Let there be drama! F*** you! Havaji! Ha ha! He stood on a chance. On guard! Ha ha! Ha ha! Yes! Ha ha! I spilled it! Now, sand particles, it's time to think outside the sandbox! Ha <laughs> ha! I hope you're gonna pick that up! I don't know what you're planning here, foul space monster, but I doubt you're giving out decent back rubs while singing the hits of Brian Ferry and Roxy Music. I'll have you know that I issue the most excellent back rub, Slammer Hammer. The kind of a back rub that makes you go, Ooh, that's a nice back rub. Yeah, right. I do so. Sure you do. I totally do. The most luxurious and soothing back rub you would likely ever experience. I right. You probably prefer the solo work of Bride Fairy. No, I do not. What a, what an accusation. Oh, yeah, Hummus Chalmers. W what did you say to me? Hummus Chalmers, I smell sh**. Hummus Chalmers! Hummus Chalmers me, will you? Well, I'll do more than Hummus Chalmers you. I'll kick your ass back to Avalon! Ah, I'm coming for you! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Run to the bridge on top! Getting a good kick in there, Slime Hammer. Oh, good, yeah, these are delicious. Sometimes a man needs an endorsement based friendship to feel truly free. A hard rain's gonna fall. Get off me! Get off me, you idiot! Oh god, what were you doing? Can't just punch something full force in the face, I remember. What are you thinking? I'm not an animal, you know? I think you broke my head bone. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guy. I didn't mean to bring a tear to your angel eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, forget it all, Slimer Hammer. Forget Fadaroni. Forget fighting. What about just me and you? Just we two. Let's go search for something new. Cause loving you is all I can do. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe we should stop fighting and stick together. Maybe love is a drug we should be thinking of. Ah! <laughs> oh! Oh! Then, Slimer Hammer, you fell for the charms of my melodramatic acting. So here is a rainbow for your hair, and there lays the stone of Jitteronis for the taking. Ha <laughs> ha! How's that for a pajama-rama? 
I can't believe it was this easy. To be honest, I'm a hammer. I expected more than this. More than this? You know there's nothing more than this. It's the same old scene, the same old scene, a sign of the times. It's time to have a wins. Let's do this then. <laughs> ah, I was so close, you f***ing butt bag. I'll get you next time. That's a win. At the performance next evening. Thebes. And you, my father's gods. And rulers of Thebes, you see me now, the last unhappy daughter of a line of kings. Your kings led away to death. You will remember what things I suffer and at what man's hands. Because I would not transgress the laws of heaven. Come, let us wait no longer. Unbelievable! How how did you do it, Lewis? The emotion, the pathos, the drama. It's beyond anything I've ever experienced before! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's just say, Farduroni's monster taught me something about the power of acting. Or should I say, overacting? <laughs> 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 on the telesensors and let me know if anything happens. You got it, buddy. Now go for strike some buttocks. I don't know what that means, but I promise if it comes to it, I'll kick some ass. To the cage! Godspeed, Slammer Hammer. <laughs>